that a divine touch of God will come upon all nations that are having problems, conflicts, and they're having bloodshed, and they have this ability that God will bring peace, that God will bring security, and God will bring stability to all these nations all over the world. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, right in verse 14, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. We are all aware of what is happening in Afghanistan. And the lack of Afghanistan, we are bringing them before God. Special time, special moment like this. The Almighty God who created the world, created the nations, the Lord will intervene. And for the church now to pray, let us pray that God will have mercy upon the conflict-prone countries and nations of the world. Let us pray that God will heal those nations, that God will touch those nations. One touch, supernatural touch, powerful touch from heaven. God looking upon those nations right now as I speak and as we pray. Prayer changes things. And by the prayer tonight, I tell you, Almighty God is going to change the situation of those nations as we pray. We are praying. Join us to pray. Pray, 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 and pray. Oh God, heal the lands. Oh God, intervene in the situation of these countries. The Bible says, it's Psalm 9, verse 19. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Wickedness cannot prevail, but God must prevail. And the Bible says in verse 20, Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves but men. They are just men. All these nations want to pray that God will arise, and God will arrest the hearts of the leaders and citizens of these nations and bring the fear of God into their hearts, that we, they will turn away from their wickedness, and will turn away from mass slaughtering, they will turn away from evil, and that the peace of God will rule. Let us pray and tell the Lord, you created this nation, you are seeing all the nations of the world now, oh God, arise, array the hearts of men, I read the hearts of people who are planning evil, who are executing evil, who are acting evil out left, right, and center. That is not the will of God. But we are bringing the will of God to bear in those nations. We are also going to pray that God will overrule the power of wickedness and the power of the wicked in all these conflict prone countries and cause that dominant powers and evil evil agendas, God will stop all of them. They prayed. God will scatter all of them. Those who delight in war and fighting and destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the weapon we have, church. We have the name of Jesus. And we are to use the name of Jesus right now against all the evil propensity that they have in all the nations of the world where they are fighting, where they are killing, where they are bloodshed. You know them all. And let us pray that God will intervene and God will stop them, and God will bring peace, and God will bring stability to them. Let there be quietness. Quietness everywhere in all the nations of the world. God will stop the killings. Pray that, oh God, stop your necessary bloodshed. Oh God, rebuke all that delight in war and violence in these various nations. We're also going to pray that God, I mean, we are going to decree an end to insurgency. Anywhere it is in the world, everywhere it is in the world, we are going to decree peace to reign. Instead of the soldier, there will be peace to reign all over these various nations. 
where people are running here and there, where they are living in perpetual fear, that God Almighty will turn them right now, God will overrule, God will move around the nations where there are violence, conflicts, and God will soften the heart. God will soften the mind. God will soften the heart of the people that delight in war and bloodshed. And God will disarm them. God will disarm every one of them. The church is praying. And the Lord Almighty is hearing us pray. Pray with all your heart, your mind, your spirit, your soul. And God Almighty will answer prayer in Jesus' name. I'm praying also that God will restrain the power of influencers and sponsors. Wherever they are, those who are behind all the shedding of blood in all those various nations, that the Almighty God will restrain the, their power, will restrain their evil, evil ideas and evil things they are doing. They are acting out. And people are living in fears. They are not sure of what will happen next. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 22, in verse 28, for the kingdom is the Lord's and is the governor among the nations. The kingdoms is the Lord's and is the governor among the nations. It's our, it's our responsibility to pray that God will intervene and God will straighten up things and that the fear of God will be in the heart of men and peace will reign supreme in all the nations. In Jesus' name, we begin to thank God right now for answers to prayer because we know that God has answered prayer changing things. Begin to thank God. The Lord has heard our prayers. The Lord has heard our cry. The Lord has our inter intercession. And the Lord did something already. That is what the program is here for. Almighty God, we thank you very much for a day like this. I will praise your name for what you are doing in all these nations of the world where they have no peace. Lord, we are praying. Bring peace to all the nations. Bring security to all the nations. Bring stability to all the nations. And let there be quietness and calmness all over the place. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.